Restorative justice gives victims the chance to meet or communicate with their offenders to explain the real impact of the crime. It empowers victims by giving them a voice. This is called a restorative justice conference. It also holds offenders to account for what they have done and helps them to take responsibility to make amends. Restorative justice is a simple process of bringing together all those affected by an incident. Government research demonstrates that 85% of victims who have taken part in face-to-face -face restorative justice were satisfied with the process and restorative justice can reduce the frequency of reoffending by 27%. Restorative justice is simply about victims and offenders communicating within a controlled environment to talk about the harm that has been caused and finding a way to repair that harm. Historically, this process has been used outside the criminal justice system, though it is now available to victims at every stage of their journey, whether it is out of court, pre-sentence or post-sentence. For offenders, the experience can be incredibly challenging as it confronts them with the personal impact of their crime. 80% of offenders who took part in restorative justice said they would be less likely to re-offend. For victims, meeting the person who has harmed them can be a huge step in moving forward and recovering from the crime. When a victim wants to meet their offender, the meeting is led by a trained facilitator who supports and prepares the people taking part and makes sure that the process is safe. Sometimes when a face-to-face -face meeting is not the best way forward, the facilitator will arrange for the victim and offender to communicate via letters, recorded interviews or video. For any kind of communication to take place, the offender must have accepted responsibility for the crime. Both victim and offender must be willing to participate and both the victim and offender must consider it safe to be involved in the process. Restorative justice can be used for most types of crime and at any stage of the criminal justice system, including alongside a prison sentence. Restorative justice offers a number of resolutions. Most police officers will be experienced at using a form of restorative justice when dealing with low-level crime. By ensuring an offender takes responsibility for a wrongdoing and a victim has a say in an outcome, then an officer is being restorative. When an officer feels that the victim will benefit from meeting the person who has caused them harm in a more controlled environment, there are RJ coordinators who can take referrals. Officers may wish to refer cases to an RJ coordinator when the case is more complex and enters the criminal justice system. A trained facilitator will then visit the victim and the offender and prepare them for a face-to-face -face meeting, at all times risk assessing and making sure the process is safe. Restorative justice is not a disposal. It is a process that can be used at any stage of the criminal justice system for any level of crime alongside or as part of an appropriate sentence or out-of-court disposal. When restorative justice is used as an out-of-court disposal, it forms part of the community resolution. This can include a community remedy. There are some offences where restorative justice will not be appropriate, like offences of domestic abuse, for instance. In Avon and Somerset, there is a restorative justice coordinator within each of the lighthouse hubs. Each of these coordinators is knowledgeable about restorative justice and in contact with delivery partners who coordinate teams of restorative justice facilitators. This is a new resource for the police and you're encouraged to refer cases either through Lighthouse or the restorative justice coordinator of more complex incidents where the victim will benefit from restorative justice. Trained facilitators will then be able to organise a restorative conference following preparation with both the harmed and harmer.